Woo! Chat Oz, baby. WrestleManiac, aka Blu-ray Maniac, 4K Maniac, and Lemonade. This is the first episode. Hang on, let's make sure I don't slide off the road. Um, I have been stir crazy. It has been. It, we had an ice slash snowstorm here in Tennessee, and my subdivision has a big hill on it, and it's been completely iced over for two days. I didn't get to go to work. I had to call out of work two days. I hadn't been able to leave the house. I tried to yesterday, slid all over the place, turned around, went back to the house. It's finally slushed its way enough to where I can get the hell out. Um, and this is episode one of a new series that I'm starting. I hadn't said anything about it except for, you know, Jordan and Tony and Chris know about it, but um, the Skeggs. Uh, Movie Pass Mania is, the new, is this new series I'm starting. I've decided in 2018, my goal is to see 75 movies in 2018 from this year. That is my goal, okay? I probably only saw 40 this year, and I missed a lot. And um, so what I decided at work at Best Buy, several of people that I work with keep talking about they go to the movie every Wednesday night. And, they're like, and I'm like, dang, y'all go every week? That gets expensive, don't it? And then they said, well, now we just do movie pass. It's only 10 bucks a month. And I said, because my thing is this, look, I was thinking about getting movie pass or something like movie pass after I saw it. And it was like $49.99 a month or some shit. But I was like, well, $50 a month, that's kind of, I could use that on months that I've, there's a lot I want to see. Well, now I see this is 10 bucks. And somebody at work uh, was telling me, that they saw like 18 movies last month and it was 10 bucks. So it's obviously something that's been around. I just hadn't really known nothing about it or paid much attention. So I went ahead and did it. And it took, takes about two weeks to get the card. It's just moviepass.com. It's $10 a month. It's cheaper than my Netflix now because Netflix has went up to 13 because of the 4K streaming and stuff that me and my brother do. So uh, yeah, 10 bucks a month. I'm going to try to see two movies a week. My days off at work are pretty set now, Sundays and Mondays, so those are gonna try to be the two days that I go for sure. Um, but now I'm to the point where I'm gonna see as many movies as I can, and then just do, and we'll just make it into a series, you know, on the channel. This first, now this is my first time doing this. I'm new to how it works. I know it says you gotta get within 100 yards of the theater to check in and activate your card, I guess. Um, I'm just trying not to wreck. This is very unsafe, me driving while I'm filming especially when it's icy on the roads but anyways i went back and forth on what i wanted to see and i was gonna see the new insidious i'm gonna see that soon but i've decided at my theater they're still showing um three billboards um and all the awards that it won it's coming out on on 4k in the at the end of february but i i want to go ahead and see it while it's still at the theater, I might as well go see it first, and that'll be the way to kick off uh, Movie Pass Mania. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to see. It's got a 1 o'clock showing. Uh, I'm on the way now to the theater. So I'm looking forward to it, man. This is going to be a – I'm flying solo on this one. Some of them I may have some guests. Skaggs may come along. My brother may come along. I may be able to get Jordan or Tony or uh, out of the house. Maybe one of these, these episodes I can get the homie outlaw to come down or I'll go up there or something. But I really am excited about this new content. I'm still going to be doing, you know, the the updates every month and stuff like that. But this is, I think this will be a really cool series to add to the channel. And it'll be a good way for me to see as many movies as I can. Because right now I can name like eight at the theater right now that I'll go see. Uh, this one, the new Insidious, the new Jumanji, uh, Commuter with Liam Neeson. Um, shit. The one about the one with uh, Winston Churchill, um, the post with with Tom Hanks, Molly's Game. I think that's what it's called. There's so many that I want to go see, and it's cool now because like me and Jordan was talking about the other night. If I'm sitting in a movie and it's just total dog shit, I'll just walk out and then do a rant about it. You know, so yeah, that's just a little quick intro of the video, just letting you know what we got what we got going on. Hopefully, y'all like it. Let me know what y'all think I should go see. I'm going to stay, you know, now that I've got the Movie Pass app, I'm going to stay in tune with what I see. And I'm going to, every, every movie from this year that I see, I'm going to mark it on my phone. Even though I know technically 
three billboards is from last year. But I'm gonna go ahead and see that uh, because I've just been hearing nothing but good things about it. So, yeah, woo! All right, I just pulled into the theater um, that I'm going to, and uh, super easy. You go to the theater that you want on the Movie Pass app, and um, you got to get within 100 yards of the theater. You hit check in within five seconds. It says success. Um, get your ticket. It will call. Um, if there's any issues, give them your zip code, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. That's all I have to do, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here. And uh, I'll try to film a little bit inside. I, I doubt there's going to be a lot of people in this movie. Being that it's been out in the theater so long. Plus it's snowing and all that stuff. So hopefully I'll have some room to spread out and just be an idiot. This is the theater I'm going to. It's Windsong 10. Um, it's not actually Windsong anymore. It's actually an AMC. Carmine. Instead of Carmine, it's AMC now. But yeah, it's not the greatest, but it'll work. Three Bilbo's. Three Bilbo Baggins. Let's go. All right, so I just got out of the movie for uh, Three Billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a long ass title. Incredible fucking movie, man. Uh, funny as hell like the the dialogue was really funny it, it got you in the feels like it was it was such a good movie man i think martin mcdonough is who directed it and wrote it amazing job i definitely see all the hype around it uh francis mcdormand was amazing in it sorry i'm in traffic woody harrelson was 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 awesome sam rockwell was awesome caleb landry jones was good in it as well that's the guy that played in American Made. He also played in Get Out. He played the brother in Get Out. He's been in a lot lately. Um, I'm sitting in traffic, and people are just staring at me on both sides. I can feel them. Feel their eyes on me. Uh, but anyways, I give it an A, man. I, re I mean, it, it was... Basically, the plot of it is... Um, it, it's about... Francis McDormand's character um, is a mother of a, of a girl who was raped and killed. And there's three billboards that have been not used since like 1986 outside of her house, outside of her, you know, close to her house um, in that small town of Evan, Missouri. And she basically wants to put something on the billboards because the her daughter's killers were never found. And it stirs everything up. And that's basically what the movie's about. You know what I'm saying? Um, but man, it it was it was awesome. I'm so glad that I picked that one today for my first movie pass experience, and uh, definitely recommend you getting it. It'll be out on Blu-ray, or it's getting a 4K release in the at the end of February. I definitely recommend getting it or buying it on digital or going to see it at the theater if you still can. Um, like I said, I was it was awesome, man. The theater that I went to, I mean, it was there wasn't many people there, but it was everybody that was in there. You could tell they enjoyed it as well. So. It gets a thumbs up from, from WrestleManiac 1130 for shizzle my nizzles. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Uh, for sure. It gets a, it gets an A. It gets an A in my book, okay? So a very successful experience the first, on episode one of Movie Pass Mania. Um, look forward to doing another one. May do one tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'll release it tomorrow, but I may go tomorrow and see. I'd like to see the post. Uh, may see if Skeggs wants to go and see the post tomorrow. So, yeah. Hope everybody has a great day. Earn, motherfucker. Hope everybody has a great day. Um, I love each and every one of y'all. Love, peace, and motherfucking hair grease, baby. Let me know what you think of this video. Yeah.